Let's say you want to find an image of a person waving outside from the inside of a car. So you decided to go to Google Images to search it up. Person waving from the inside of a car towards the outside. Hmm, no. Waving inside a car? Uh, not really either. POV waving inside a car? Guess it's slightly worked, but not quite right. Then POV waving from the inside of a car? Still not quite right. You may not realize it, but you are basically doing something called prompt engineering, where you use trial and error to find the right combination of multiple keywords to acquire the result you want from an algorithm like Google Images that we are using right now. But the results from these algorithms do not work as well, because when you are searching based on a caption or a description rather than keywords, it starts to get a bit difficult. It's like searching for a movie plot of a movie that you forgot, and you use usually find results of people asking the same question on an online form instead of the movie name actually popping up. So if no one has made a similar description of the plot before, then you probably won't be in any luck to find the movie title you are looking for. This is because the descriptions are not directly associated with the title of the movie, just like how the content of the image is not directly related to the labels of the image. Not until recently, OpenAI's Contrastive Language Image Pre-Training, short for CLIP, is able to classify images based on natural language. It is basically inspired by GPT-2 and 3, and also to work in a zero-shot manner. Clip introduced many possibilities such as reducing the cost of making large labeled datasets, but also it can be used to search for the image content as described. So if we bring back the original prompt, we can now search an image with natural language and the results would be much more accurate and similar to what you were actually describing. This collab implemented clip to search on Unsplash, which is a free stock image site and it was done by hooking up its API and clip. It is incredibly convenient because usually all the images are tagged based, and if you don't prompt engineer it the right way, then it is basically harder to find the right image that you want. With clip, you can just rely on describing the content of an image and this collab can find it for you, and it is pretty accurate. So you can basically search up images that cannot be easily described in just a few keywords. So it takes a significant less amount of time to find the desired image you want. What's even cooler is that there is another collab implementation of Clip that you can search through individual frames from a video and output the frames of what you described, creating the possibility to improve stock footage searching. The problem with Clip though is that when it's compared with task specific models, it still cannot perform as well as them. Since Clip was trained more generally, it be applied to determine things such as flower species, diagnose diseases, and separate car models, it still requires some work down the line. You may also need to do some prompt engineering, but instead of adding keywords, you need to better describe the image that you want to search for. Furthermore, if you search an image that does not have the color green in it, it will still give you an image that has the color green in it instead of a non-green image. It still struggles to grasp the meaning of a sentence, so don't build your hopes up too high. What's interesting though is when the search query is dependent on the context, the AI could interpret it and is than able to provide the contextually correct or relevant images to you, which is fascinating. So a future may be that a commentary channel would just need to enter their script into an AI and then the AI can easily create a video or a slideshow of images fitting the context of the script, similar to what this AI paper can do. So rest in peace video editing jobs. On the other hand, if this can be integrated with normal image keyword searching like on Google Images or Pinterest, keywords based searching and description based searching are going to be so convenient convenient to use to access information from the internet. And this video is sponsored by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit with a link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching as usual, and a big shout out to Mark Schwinn and many other Patreons that support my work through Patreon. Join my Discord and follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one.